Today I'm going to try to do something different, a little mod for the M4 that's just cosmetic. But I'm going to try to paint this area with some M Motorsport colors. And I'm just going to use some denatured alcohol to clean this off really well. And then some tape to tape off where I want to paint. And then I had the three colors mixed up at the, the Napa paint department. Some paper towels and let's see what happens. All right, I cleaned the cover off already, but I just want to take some denatured alcohol and make sure I really clean the silver parts here. That's where I'm going to be applying the paint. All right, now I'm trying to figure out what the angle is of these stripes. I don't have a protractor. That would be nice, uh, but it looks like it's almost 45 degrees if I just set my pencil on it, which is more than I thought it was going to be. So approximately something like this. So I'm just going to take a piece of tape and we're just going to do a not very precise one right now just to test this out, see how it looks. I think I'm going to Move it over a little bit. And I'm just gonna take a second piece of tape. Line it up with the first. And I'm gonna take a couple measurements to see if this is gonna look even. So that's actually an inch and a quarter. And this is an inch and three eighths. That make the top strip here two and three eighths. And then this one is, this one is three inches. So, just gonna do a little bit of back and forth here. Right, I'm going to mark one and five eighths on each side. All right, one and five eighths. And line these up. Let me see what that leaves me with over here. This is now two and three quarter inches here. So you can see that these are not straight. This is at an angle already. So there's gonna be, this is gonna be shorter than this one. And in the middle we have, let's see. Our middle stripe is uh, two and five eighths there, two and a quarter here and about two and three quarters up here. So that's actually really close. So I'm gonna push this tape down really hard here so our paint doesn't leak through. So these are gonna be our three separate colors and they are kind of equally spaced out. So this stuff is single stage automotive paint and they gave me these little touch up kind of uh, Containers, got a little tiny brush. So I'm just gonna practice here on this guy, just doing a really, really light coat. Now these things uh, that I'm painting are raised. So if I do it well and gently enough, I should just be able to paint the top part of it without having to tape off the bottom. Yeah, it just takes a steady hand. A pretty light coat.
All right, not bad for the first one. All right, and I'm just gonna do the same thing for all of the light blue. All right, that wasn't bad for my first attempt. Did have to pull out the reading glasses though for the fine detail. All right, now I'm gonna do the red side over here. My red seems a little runnier than the blue. I got uh, different colors. They, for the red and the dark blue, they could mix up the Pantone color codes for me. And for the blue, I just had to pick a blue off of the card to try to match it. And yeah, I need a lot less red paint than I did the blue. And I made my first mistake here with the red. Wipe it off. We won't be able to see this after it's done. All right, that is a big solid beater red on there. Try to wipe my brush off more for the second pass. And if you're a dummy and put your finger in the paint, go back and touch it. All right, now I let this dry for about 10 minutes. I don't want it to be all the way dry, but I also don't want it to be wet. So that hopefully when I peel this off, I'll get a nice fine line. If it dries all the way, you can rip off the paint next to it. So that actually looks really good. That is exactly how I want it. All right, now I'm gonna let this fully dry before painting the other stripe in the middle. Actually, it looks great like that too. All right, I let this dry overnight so that the paint would be completely set. And uh, originally I was going to fill this whole area in with the dark blue, but after seeing it with the silver there, I thought it looked kind of cool. So I think I'm going to leave just a tiny gap of silver between the colors. So what I thought I would do is put some tape on here and eyeball it to make sure it looks pretty even. And then take a second piece of tape and line it up with this one. Exactly. So that I know it's in that same spot. And then I can remove this. So that will be our paint line. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side. I just have a little gap 
and have this piece be the one that we're actually using. So, those should be fairly even. And I'm not gonna push down the tape hard over here just because I don't want that to have any reason to pull up. So now it's exactly the same procedure as before. Pretty runny red one. So be careful. Test it out here in the middle. You can see the edge of that silver is not really uh, covering very well, so I'm going to have to go back with another coat over the corner. All right, that is gonna have to dry and I'm gonna definitely have to do another coat on the edges there. I just let this dry for about 20 minutes and now I'm gonna try to go over that edge again to get uh, darker coverage. All right, the edges look pretty good on this. I'm just gonna give it one more coat down the middle to try to level everything out. All right, that's looking pretty good. I mean, if you look really closely, a lot of what looks like silver is just actually light reflecting here in the camera. When you look at it in person, it looks better. So I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and take this tape off. Okay, time for the reveal. Peel this tape back. The blue layer is really thick. That side looks really good. All right, there's a couple little areas here that are uh, not perfect. 
but when they dry, I'll just use a little X-Acto knife and trim them up and do just a tiny bit more touch-up paint, and I think it's going to look great. And you also got to remember, it's an engine cover, so you're going to be looking at it at a distance like this, and even without me touching it up at all, it looks awesome from here. So very pleased with it and hopefully this inspires you guys to go out and do something like that. Please give this a like and subscribe to the channel for some more DIY content. And here's the final version with the engine cover back in place. Uh, I think it looks pretty sweet. 